Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Kyle Norman. After a brief message from one of our sponsors, we will continue with today's verse. Today's verse can be found in Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the parish where I serve, there's somebody named Charlotte. Charlotte comes every Sunday. When she walks through the doors of the church, she always asks, Are we doing church today? Following the service, she is the first to approach me. Can you bless me? She always asks. And even though our service literally just ended with a blessing, I take the time to speak a personal prayer of blessing over her. She always says thank you, and Charlotte leaves content and relieved. Have you ever stopped and listened to the words of blessings? Have you ever thought about what it declares about you and about your life? You know, often we don't. For many churches, a blessing is simply the final act of worship. The priest or the pastor stands before the congregation with hands extended over them and closes the service. The blessing is seen as nothing more than the liturgical way to end the service. The prayer is said, the service closes, and we're on our way. Or in our own personal lives, we might think of the popular hashtag, hashtag blessed. People post this on social media to suggest that their lives are filled with abundance and joy. Everything is going to their liking. Life is complication-free. They are living their best life. Or maybe the words, bless you, just rolls off our tongues at every sneeze, without us thinking about what we're saying. But what if there is more to blessing than just something we say? A blessing is not just a fancy prayer, nor is it something that we say when we're just enjoying ourselves. A blessing, in the true spiritual sense, is an authoritative declaration about your life. It speaks of a reality bestowed upon you, one that enfolds you at that moment. A blessing pronounces God's presence, God's favor, and God's activity upon your life. Think about it this way. A blessing is a statement made, not a request asked. A blessing is an authoritative invocation of God's presence and power. When we are blessed, we are invited to realize the truth of God's activity. Take the ironic blessing as an example. When we say, The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. We are declaring that in that moment, amid all of life's ups and downs, God's loving light shines upon your life. We declare as a truth of your existence, a fact just as real as the ground under your feet, that God surrounds you and is acting for your favor. As followers of Jesus, Christ has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. The storehouses of God's glorious activity, favor, and goodness have been opened for us. Now, this doesn't mean that we're going to live our lives on easy street. After all, we all have times when we become so riddled with our own discouragements. Maybe we doubt God's blessings on our lives. It's precisely because life sometimes zigs when we want to zag that the blessings of God are important. Because in these instances, we need to hear an encouraging word. We need to receive a divine declaration that reminds us about the truth that enfolds our lives. The fact is, we are blessed by the hands of Jesus. And this reality is independent of what life throws at us. But that's not all. 
as followers of Jesus, we aren't just called to receive our blessings. We're called to bless others. Jesus commands us, bless those who curse you. The blessed favor of God that we live under every single day of our lives is to be expressed outwards. We are to be the agents of God's blessings, boldly declaring the truth of God's presence in people's lives. Just imagine how impactful it can be to hear another person declare God's favor and activity upon you. Imagine hearing this if you are at a point in life where you doubt whether God cares for you at all. A word of blessing, declaring that God is with you, that God is active, and that God upholds you, that word can be transformative. And it may just be the means for somebody to move from death to life, from lost to found. No matter who you are or what you are going through, you are called to receive the words of blessings as bold declarations about your life. Because blessings speak truth. And as the words ring in your ears, spiritually you receive in that place and in that moment the enriching presence of God and the assurance of God's power working for you. Of that, we can be assured. And so for anybody today who feels like they need to hear the words of blessings, I offer you the words of Romans 15. And remember, it's not just a scripture passage. This is a truth about God's presence in your life. The God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everyone wants to change the world. Capital Ministries is doing just that, one heart at a time by creating disciples of Jesus Christ among political leaders in the U.S. and foreign nations. For more than 25 years, founder Ralph Drawlinger has written Bible studies specifically for public servants. Study along with us and learn what the Bible says about capitalism, communism, abortion, same-sex marriage, and other contemporary issues. Subscribe and follow us at lifeaudio.com or search Capital Ministries on your favorite podcast platform.